Good morning, beautiful souls. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it's seven o'clock straight up. I had trouble logging in, so here I am right on time. Those of you joining the replay, hang tight with me while we let everybody join us, okay? Just begin to breathe full and slow and deep into your bodies. Good morning, I'm seeing some of you start to log in. Say hi in the comments if you would. I had to reboot three times. So I just logged in at 7 o'clock straight up. I don't know if anybody else is having trouble today. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Amel. Hi, Arnell. <laughs> Three A's in a row. We're logging in alphabetically by first name today. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody. I had challenges logging in, so I was just able to open exactly at 7 a.m. So we'll give everybody a couple extra minutes. Hi, Michael. Yes, nothing like a good reboot. Hi, Diane. So I'm going to wait till 7.02 since I didn't get on till exactly 7 a.m. Good morning, Tim. Everybody begin to breathe deep into your body and check in with yourself. What are you feeling right this moment? Two words. And then really connect with the experience that you're choosing those two words to describe and pop them in the um, comments for me if you would. And I'm just gonna wait a second here. All right. <clears throat> Okay, I see nine of you logged in. Um, say hi in the comments if you would. I'm not seeing any two words come in. There they are. Okay. All right, in just a second, I'm gonna take my eyes off the comments. Good morning, Dave. All right, I'm gonna take my eyes off of the comments and jump right in. Um, before I do, I want everybody to just put your right hand on your chest, put it right on top of your heart chakra, <clears throat> if you would. And I want you to feel yourself breathe into your lungs and imagine they're two huge balloons and I want you to expand them so much that you can see your hand lift off your chest or expand with your chest. I want you to do three of those and each breath I want you to take a little more in and let a little more fall out. It's like when you blow up a balloon for the first time, it struggles and then when you let the air out, it's more um, pliable and so you can fill it even more. I want you to fill your lungs even more with three breaths all on your own timing. And now I want you just to close your eyes for a brief moment and I want you to imagine in your chest cavity floating right between your lungs, right under your breastplate, a ball of light the size of a golf ball. And it's the most brilliant emerald green ball of light your brain can imagine in this moment. Doesn't matter how strong the imagination is, just focusing your thought in that purposeful intention and direction is enough to activate your heart chakra. Now in that energy, you received an upgrade over the course of the portal last Monday that opened during the eclipse. That might sound crazy to our minds, but it's accurate information. It's more than accurate information. It's true. <laughs> when we believe something and we create our life as if it's true, that's when we begin to interact with life differently. Whatever you believe, you create your life as if that's true. What happens if you turn up your belief? on what I just said. You got an upgrade in your heart chakra. The, the accumulated wisdom of your soul that is eternal is now on, it's activated within your chest cavity. And it's available now to send impulses of thought into your mind 
that will affect the way you're living your life right now. I'm going to say more about that in a second. But what I want you to, to realize that from last Monday to today, through today, it's like we got a surge, an explosion of energy because our bodies have been being prepared for a very long time, significantly from 2012 till now, but potently from 2020 to 2024. Whether the humanity has been conscious of it or not, many of you are. Many of you are becoming more conscious of it and aware of it. Our bodies have been going through an uh, upgrade to be able to uh, uh, receive and assimilate these energies that are coming online. We think of the eclipse as something that was happening outside of us. So when we think of a portal and new energy coming in, it feels like it's coming from the sun and it's um, hitting the earth and somehow we're absorbing it. It's okay if our brain interprets it that way. It just gives us a way to interact with a shift that's occurring. But more accurately, the, the way your body has been being upgraded and subtly shifted to be able to hold this level of frequency within our beingness actually has been laying dormant within us in the energy of our heart chakras and because they were so they have been so prepared when the eclipse crossed in front of the sun and the sun emerged the sun itself was now different it's like this massive floodlight that was the same energy that has been stored in your dormant parts of your DNA that have come online to, to allow those two energies to synchronize and activate a flow, a current of energy within you that now is giving you more access to your own divine intelligence. We are, we've, we are in a seven day period of integrating that. In this last seven days, you may have had these surges of euphoric feeling. You may have had these surges of horniness. In the human experience, when life force flows, it, it wants to create. In physical form, that is um, sexual union to create life. So your body may be responding just in a way and you may feel like I am so horny and there's no reason. You may have felt incredibly um, energetic and then all of a sudden incredibly lethargic. You may have been experiencing surges of optimism and moments of clarity and insight and excitement about things that you want to create and directions you want to move in your life. And you may have had these dips of despair and feeling like nothing's working or familiar emotions re-emerging in your body in a way that feels defeating or unpleasant. And the feeling is so familiar, you're thinking that parts of your life that you've improved upon, you really have it. it. In this week of integration, it could have been experienced in this very roller coaster um, type of experience. We've got one more day of this integration process. On the other side of that integration, you now have more um, capacity to make less fearful, more courageous choices in moving in the direction that you want to create your life. Last Monday, the master, uh, the elders told us on the day of the eclipse, before it actually occurred, it would be like this dimmer switch that has always been like a dimmer switch on the wall an electrician can put that dimmer switch in but and the the current is moving through the circuitry circuitry but if or it's accessible in the circuitry but if the dimmer switch isn't clicked 
you don't have access. It's not in the on position. It's not le letting the current move through. We all got a dimmer switch clicked last uh, Monday. We're integrating the surge of energy that is now capable of flowing in that circuitry. But what they told us last week, it's possibility and potential. The possibility for the current to flow through is right there. The potential lies in us turning the dial, becoming aware and familiar with this surge, being um, interactive with the new thoughts of clarity and desire and creativity and ideas showing up in our mind and taking the opportunity to move in that direction. On During the mastermind last week, and many of you are not in that, but in the mastermind, the elders pose these questions. I'm posing them to you right now, and then I'm going to connect some dots. The questions were, what part of, they told us to ask ourselves, what part of me is waiting in the wings? What part of me is waiting to come forward that I can feel within myself that I haven't let come forward? For me, the answer to that is um, a skillful financial wizard. <laughs> I am not a skillful, I have not been a skillful financial wizard up until this point in my life. Had very little interest, um, very little skill development. That guy is waiting in the wings. I know it. And I'm feeling this desire to bring him forward because I need him. Now, the other way, the other question that was asked, what gift or talent is not being fully expressed? What gift and talent's not being fully expressed? For me, the answer to that question was a masterful art um, business uh, director. I've been developing art skills that weren't there three years ago. Now, in that gift, I know that there is a talent within me ready to come forward to help me hone a business perspective of the art that's flowing out of me. And all that started was with one little idea, and I'm just following the ideas. I'm just 10 steps ahead of you. <laughs> this is happening in all of us. And the third and final question was, what does my higher self want for me? So I'm gonna ask you that question right now. What does your higher self want for you? Feel into that. When we think of our higher self, we think of a version of us that is outside of us. We think of our guides and our higher um, self as something that we've got to communicate with and then somehow extrapolate information and then utilize it. The dimmer switch that was activated within your beingness you, you now are your higher self. Let that land. The parts of you that are waiting in the wings are the parts that are now available because of the frequency that's come online inside of us. The gifts or talents not being fully expressed couldn't be because they are a vibrational match to a part of you that had not yet come online. What happens in your life, beautiful tribe, if you take that accurate information that I just delivered and you believed it and then you created your life as if it's true. What if you are you have full access to your complete higher self right now? Or you have access to your higher self in a bandwidth that will only continue to expand and reveal who that is you revealing who you are when you follow the impulses of thought that are coming from this upgraded intelligence, sending thoughts into your mind, directing your life from this moment forward. What changes when you believe that you are your higher self? And your higher self just wants to be you. And you have been tuned to a frequency of fear that has, like me, created a persona to function in a world tuned to fear. 
that's not the case anymore. We're not tuned to fear. That doesn't mean we won't experience fear and everything on the world stage won't look like it's creating events to be fearful of because the vibration that was sustainable, that allowed us all to sustain that way of being as humans, it's we're tuned to something stronger. But if you don't know that, it's like you're gasping for air to maintain this connection to your wounded persona and there's no fear to feed you. So you'll have to create the environment. You'll have to stimulate everything in your experience to stay tuned to something that's not tunable to. That's what we're going to experience in the dismantle. You have another version of you online that's going to be sending impulses of thought leading you forward. Where? Into the unknown. On the frequency of fear, the unknown shows up as fear and we panic and we overanalyze and we hold back and we don't go where our inner guidance is leading us. When the sun passed in front of, uh, the moon passed in front of the sun and the sun reemerged, the sun is different. You are different. Your intelligence is different. Way back in 2019, when the Masters of Light told us we were going to be going through a collective experience of fear, anger, confusion, clarity, trust, and inspired action, we are now in the season of inspired action, which is going to require you to trust. That's what comes first. Fear, anger, confusion, clarity. First, we receive clarity of bandwidth. Now we're receiving clarity of thought. Oh, these are the thoughts that are leading me forward. Now I need to trust the clarity of the bandwidth that I'm receiving this information on post eclipse. And I need to trust the clarity of thought that's moving me forward with this huge flashlight leading my path by activating thoughts that want to move me forward. They're happening simultaneously. The, the light is giving you clarity of thought. The sunlight metaphorically is leading your path. They're walking, you're walking side by side. Here's what your thoughts are saying move toward and the people, places, and things on this illuminated path will begin to show up. But it will require, because it's possibility and opportunity, us noticing, oh, I'm less fearful in moving forward and move forward. Notice I'm feeling more courageous. Now, that might not be your experience today, and it might not have been your experience this week. We're still in this integration period, but I guarantee you, it may be subtle, it may be extreme, but you will start to feel different tomorrow. And the motto I want us to all play with is, I'm responsible to take the potential and the opportunity and move myself forward. I'm responsible to take the potential and the opportunity presented by the upgrade of the eclipse and move myself forward. Where? Wherever I want to go. Why? Because I'm my higher self and my higher self is manifesting as all of me through my desires, through my interests, through my wants, through what is moving through me to be created so I can manifest and create the life I truly want to live. That being said, and this is where I'm going to wrap up today. Hang with me. That being said, we may find ourselves being presented with opportunities where we're, we finally say, holy shit, man, I've been trying to squish myself into this career because I'm just so fearful to let go, but I'm so miserable. We might just find that here it is. <laughs> I'm ready to let go and move in a whole new direction. I'm not saying everybody, but I'm saying this activation that has come online inside of us, it's no longer compatible with any compromise of our authentic higher self. We could compromise 
and choose fear on a frequency of fear, that will become much more difficult on the frequency with which you are now tuned. So my admonishment to you today and for this week is be super gentle with yourself. Use all your your tools as you feel emotion. Remember, everybody is integrating. So the intensity with which I'm feeling this anxiety or this depression or this confusion or this excitement and this thrill, all of it on the positive and the negative, it's not all yours. Whatever we're experiencing as we're all integrating as the snow globe of humanity is being shook up, that tool is really important. The intensity with which I'm feeling name the emotion is not all mine and sit still for a nanosecond and train yourself to feel that energy leave your field. And now what you're left with, okay, this is the intensity with which I'm really feeling this. Okay, now what part of me is waiting in the wings? What gift or talent is not being fully expressed? What does my higher self have to share with me in this moment through this emotional experience that I'm having? Pay attention to your inner guidance. It got an upgrade. It will become clearer. Why? So you can take the potential and the opportunity and move yourself forward in alignment with the clarity that's coming up on the other side of integration, which ends today. So keep your Indiana Jones hat on. That's my metaphor for stay in a vibration, a high level vibration of curiosity, looking for the clues, watching for the people, places, and things and synchronicities to show up, noticing the thoughts that are popping up into your head and not dismissing them so quickly. Interact with what's showing up from a place of curiosity. That's going to support our clarity and that's going to support our um, courageous movement forward. This is where the fun gets to show up. You, trusting you, following your inner guidance, creating what it is you desire to create. That's where I'm going to leave you today. There's only love for you here. Rock this week and I'll see you on next Magical Monday. Bye for now.